Okay, one thing to note, when doing the passenger side, you need to access, 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 oak sex, oh sex, yes please, um, the bolt on the shock absorber from within the wheel arch. If you try to do it the other side like I did, uh, it doesn't work, because it's got the flange on it. So just make note of that, passenger side, through the wheel arch. Okay, first thing on doing the front suspension, or shock, sorry, on the Ram 1500, is to take the wheel off. So, <laughs> hmm, doesn't want to come off. Wrong size nut. Okay, let me get the correct one and get the wheel off. I gotta tell you, I hate these fucking stupid chrome trimmy pieces over the nut. They really are a fucking waste of time. Let's try the next one. Yeah, you see? With the chromey bit, a fucker comes off. Without the chromey bit, you have to choose the next size down. This is, oh, well, look, now it's got stuck in the end of the fucking socket. Dodge, manufacturers, you're fucking idiots. Okay, just to let you guys know, in case you're in this situation, without the chrome piece of shit on there, it's an 18 millimeter nut. With it, the only thing I could find that fits was a 25 30 second AF socket. Well, well, there you go. Okay, so once you get the wheel off, there is a nut in here that you need to get to. And probably a socket's going to be the best. And then obviously the main bolt down here. Uh, we still need to do the same with the shocks by pumping them. Uh, so let me try getting this out now and tell you what size of socket you need. Okay, what you're going to need here is a nine millimeter socket to hold the nut on the top and then an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the nut that is securing the shock absorber. This is another stupid fucking idea. And this is how it comes out. Obviously, you have to wind the shaft down through the nut because you're not going to be able to undo the nut. And I'm going to bore you and let you carry on watching just for a few moments to see what happens. Good God. Car designers, you need the rough end of a pineapple shoved up your ass. There we go. Okay, so the nut is off. The washer and the bush and now it's a matter of taking this bottom bolt out and removing that shock absorber sorry the light went a bit dim there and let's see yeah that should be a simple matter of undoing that nut and i believe it is probably let's see what is this socket here 21 there you go, it's a 21 millimeter. Undo it, take it off, same both sides. All right guys, hopefully that helps some of you. And I wish you luck. Oh shit, my brake pads need replacing. Okay, another task.